say it many different times for the rest of the brothers and mine, and uh, it is what is my return to Ed Mooney?
Dell. Tom and the ambassador from Bermuda, the people's boat has arrived. All right. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> Gabe. Mary. Dan. Nathan. Susan. Loki. I'll be taking the stack, by the way. Joe. Yeah. Homegirl. Yeah. And I don't know if Mary Lux is coming back. I saw her. She's the cook. Her. Okay, line. Um, and somebody else that I don't know. Uh, excellent. Um, so we got announcements. Uh, hopefully we'll go through those pretty quickly. Um, and then there's discussion about whether we should have discussion or reports first. I'll probably get a temp check to see how long the reports will take. If they don't take too long, maybe we can do those first. Otherwise, we'll do discussion, then reports. Does that sound fair? Um, Eric, I'd like to request that we could do the um, Occupy Homes announcement first because some people have to leave, and I think it is important to at least get it on the table. Would that be acceptable to people? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Everybody's stuff is important. Yep, it's all important. Yeah. I, the, the reason that that bothers me slightly, I'll just say it, yeah. it's like that means that some people's time is more important than other people's time. Yeah, I time. get it. Yeah. So that's the only thing, I, uh, the only reason I hesitate on that. Yeah, especially, I guess. Especially for people if they're not coming here regularly, and then they come and they demand to be on top of the agenda, yeah. and then they leave. I, I think that, may I respond, is that I think that they have attempted to sit down repeatedly in, a, in visits here and have been unsuccessful. And that's why I would like to honor their visit here tonight, because once again, they are trying to make contact with the people in the media team, as it seems to be the only way they're able to do that. So that's why I would like to give them the courtesy of that. You're saying that somebody got kicked out of this space? I mean, it sounds like it's not a safe space. Is that what you're saying? I... Hold on, Chuck. Pardon me? Zach, we have stack well, going right now, actually. We don't really have a discussion okay. going yet. I, I just want clarification. Like, do you feel like this is not a safe space for someone? Or? Well, I would. what I would like to say is I think um, could we at least get the issues on the table? I don't know if I'm here to comment on the safety or the lack of safety here. I don't know if I'm qualified to do that, but I would like to at least put this on the table and give them the courtesy of being heard right now. So just to clarify, you want someone good to be, can I, can I just talk to, um, you want someone to be able to make an announcement and, so that they can vote. Uh, part of their, Becky, I, my understanding is that you will be here after those who go or what? What is the plan? But that's up to you guys. So you said the word issue, issues on the table. It feels to me, it feels to me like this might be a discussion topic rather than an, annou an announcement. Perhaps that's true. Yes. I'm just going to speak, okay? Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but if they have to leave, they'll have to speak first. But if they have to leave, they have to have a close place. Let's speak. Lucky's taking stack. Well, when you facilitate, you get to choose the priority. No, we get to choose. We get to choose. This is getting nuts. That's true. It is the first thing on the agenda, so if we just follow the agenda as it's written, there is no need for discussion about That's, it. That sounds wonderful. Get the announcement done, then get on to the first item. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, so we really didn't need to discuss this. No. <laughs> so a thousand voices in the past. Five thirty, Elder Horn. Someone want to discuss that? An announcement. Yeah. Further, is there anything that needs that further? Was an announcement, and you just read it, so I have no more to say. That was the announcement. What is it? Thank you. If you want to read my second announcement, that's fine. Too. <laughs> <laughs> but what is it? What is the thousand voices? Which part? I can't hear anything, so it's still stuck in the pocket. 
Well, I heard there was a music thing in the park. I guess that's what you're talking about. Yeah. Wouldn't what matter time? if you just went ahead and said. It's the 18th of May. Yeah, yeah, but nobody everyone, heard it. For everyone, let's talk in normal civil voices, please. Like, we're not raising our voices at our children. Okay, we're all adults here. We I'm sorry. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know who brought this up, <laughs> so it's you, Debs. Did you put up the second one as well? Did you want me to read that and then? Okay. So I'm selling cookbooks for Walker Building Fund, thirteen dollars. C Dubs. Point of information: What time is the Thousand Voices in Hutterman Park? Five thirty. Thank you. Eight. Anything else? All right, Deb, did you have the third one as well? That's mine. Who said, who said that? Jan. Jan. I think that's mine. The memorial service for the young man who was killed by police um, on a motorcycle uh, is tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. And it's at Bloomington and Lake. I think it's lots of areas. I think. intersection does not have that treatment. So I'm going to send out some more information on this to the media committee and the e-democracy. But if, uh, that apparently is the answer why it didn't change. I heard something about that too, actually. Interesting. Okay, uh, so I was told that this is an announcement, media proposal. Uh -huh. Yeah, and I apologize, and Chris, I, have to, I do have to leave early. It's just because I have a weekly commitment on Wednesday nights, and I felt like this was the place to bring such a proposal. Yeah, and so I can just hand it out now, and then it's moving to discussion later. That's fine, but I would like to read it, so maybe one more minute, um, and then just go through it, and it's we can discuss it later. If that's all right, I think Becky will still be in the room. Uh, okay, so is this uh, is this like an occupied home site? No, no, no. It's, it's a so the announcement is that we're announcing an election of the Occupy Minnesota Social Media Committee, and this comes out of I'm working in South Minneapolis with some residents. If it's okay, um, I think I'm doing an announcement right now. Thanks. Keep going, Chris. Thank you. Um, so I'm working with a bunch of folks in Southside, and social media is an important part of building the campaigns to either get a new mortgage or with some families who are experiencing homelessness who need to make it. So this is a proposal to elect who has access to the uh, Facebook account and Twitter of Occupy Minneapolis. And I understand that there's a bunch of whereas is here, which we don't necessarily need to go over now. But we're announcing that the election will be Wednesday, May 29th. <coughs> Excuse me, we're on stack. That's okay. I would like okay. to finish. Yeah. Yeah. So Wednesday, May 29th. Frank, Frank, I can be Frank, please. Yeah. I feel that I've. Anyway, okay, let's just let him talk. Let's just not let him go talk. No more history. interruptions, please. So we want to hold an election of the social media committee <laughs> on May 29th at 5.30 p.m. at 4200 Cedar Avenue. And we feel that the social media committee should be elected and democratically accountable to the greater Occupy movement. And so that's basically the proposal. And so I, this is a social media committee within Occupy Minneapolis? Yeah, and as I understand it, the social media committee represents greater occupying groups that affiliate with Occupy Minneapolis, and so I feel that because of that, the social media can't be self-appointed, it should be held democratically accountable in an elected body, which is yeah. 
So I'm sorry, can I just have one more clarification? Yeah, of course. Uh, you, you're very clear that this is not part of Occupy Homes, is that correct? I, I believe fully that Occupy Homes is a part of the Occupy movement. And no, 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 I'm asking about this announcement in this election. This is not part of Occupy Homes. Is that no, correct? no, this is, a, this is an election for the greater Occupy movement in Minnesota to elect its own social media committee that chooses to represent Occupy. And you don't come to this meeting, which is Occupy Minnesota, but now you're wanting to change how Stack. Yeah, we got to. <laughs> Can we please raise hands, okay? Um, Seriously. All right, I think you've got that announcement out, yeah? Yeah, that's great. And then it's being circulated around. Take a look, and Wednesday the 29th. Okay. The other part of that announcement was just an update from Becky on the mediation process. Stag. Stag. Yeah. 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 He made his announcement. His announcement is done. He's the next announcement. Is this directly related? This is directly related. And, uh, if you're going to come in here and we've never seen you before, this is I would like to add, since this is coming from Occupy Homes, let's have an election for Occupy Homes leadership as well. Uh, that sounds like a discussion. That's, that's going to be a discussion. Um, Nick, you had something to say? Yeah, just the other, the other part of the announcement was just an update on the, things are at, like the ongoing dispute, I guess you would call it, between Occupy Homes members and members of the media committee. That sounds a lot like a report. It's just a, it's an a announcement. No, it's a report. It's, it's a an report. announcement on where things are at because report. there's an announcement. Report. Keep report. going, you guys, Excuse stop. Me. Thank you. And that's what today the media committee voted to censor any future Occupy Homes related content from the page. And uh, Becky also has an announcement on where things are with the mediation. Is that this agenda Dan, item? Dan, Dan, raise your hand, please. Cobra. So I believe that since uh, that's a part of the agenda, or that, that announcement, that that would then be a part of Occupy Homes coming directly from Occupy Homes, would mm -hmm. not. You had said that it had nothing to do with Occupy Homes, but now you're saying there's two announcements coming from one. And I mean, like, that, that sounds like Occupy Homes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I suppose that we move on. Uh, I, I want to make this one comment. This is quick and you got 30 yeah. seconds. Yeah. Nick Espinosa deleted me. I mean, he he fucking censored me from the Occupy uh, Facebook okay, account with, with no, yeah, no democratic okay. process there. So. Democracy right, right, doesn't apply okay. to what you're talking Personal about. Personal comments, please. Sorry. Let's keep to the this agenda. Would, this okay. Seems like this, would be this is a dispute <laughs> right now, and we're having a meeting, not a dispute. Yeah. Okay. So let's keep this civil, because I'm kind of sick of this. So. Yeah. That's, um, I think the point of this is to anyways, create a process. To I, I understand that. Okay. Dan. Thing. What? You had something to say? There was something inaccurate said, but we're not in a discussion element right now. Okay. So, so on to the next Thank agenda. Thank you for honoring process. I appreciate that. Anytime. On to the next. Okay, uh, May 21st, Jail the Bankers. Who wrote that? Who wrote the details? Uh, I, I didn't write it, but I have details. Okay. Um, Thank you. So, one boy. So there's um, next week in Washington, D.C., going to be a national week of action pressuring the Obama administration to actually prosecute some of these bankers who crash our economy. And so there's going to be a solidarity action in Minneapolis on May 21st, which is a Tuesday, and that's going to be at 4.30 at the Government Center. Where? Uh, Government Center. Okay. Who's putting this on? Hands. Appetite Homes. People's Plaza, right? Yes, that's right. All right. All right, on. And Pirate Party, Minnesota. Uh, yes. Daniel. Uh, briefly, um, basically, uh, a, a whole bunch of people that uh, have been interested in the idea of this global pirate party, which started in 2006 in Sweden, have had a couple meetings here at 4200 Cedar, and so we are hoping to have an initial, like, official organizational meeting next Monday here at 4200 Cedar at 6 p.m. We had what's called a crypto party uh, this past Monday, which was free and open to all. Some folks brought food. It was really nice. We taught people about uh, encryption technology, including IRC chat, uh, Tor for web browsing, TrueCrypt for hard drive encryption, and Mumble chat for encrypted open source voice discussions. So basically, uh, I think for me, part of the Pirate Party idea is uh, sort of skill shares and teaching people how to use these tools, as well as uh, 
theoretically engaging in the form of what you'd call a more conventional political party, which has worked in Europe. So anyway, uh, so we're ha we have a, a, a website that's set up at piratepartymn.org, a Facebook, a Twitter, a Tumblr. Um, and so we're just kind of, you know, slowly getting things rolling. We're going to try to do provisional bylaws like next Monday. So just wanted to let people know. We got some Occupy people involved, but it's a, it's a separate idea and different than Occupy, but I think shares some overlap and interest. So that's all. Thank you. I'm trying to pull up the info right now. Maybe somebody else has this, but I know that there's a bake sale here. I think it's June on 1st. June 1st. Thank you. Yeah, do you have the info? A bunch of groups, right? Yeah, uh, start bringing your baked goods at 11 a.m. Uh, we're going to try to sell them, I think, from 1 to 4, and then there's a possible potluck. This is Welfare Rights Committee. Uh, can I cut you off for just one second? If anyone in this table or group is going to have a personal conversation, can we please have respect for everyone else and have them either out in the hallway or outside? So the bake sale is June first. Is that what I heard? Yes. Okay. Quick time. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> dropping things off. This is to, for Wham and all the groups in the building. And I don't know if Occupy has uh, has thrown their hand in to do some baking. I didn't. Um, <clears throat> So it's set up 11 o'clock, and Dave gave us the building until 8 p.m., so the bake sale is going to go until 4, and then there can be a potluck gathering kind of before the 8. But the bake sale starts at 1, is that what you said? Yeah. I thought you said 11. That's when you deliver. Start arriving and setting up at 11. Oh, okay. Sorry, I couldn't hear the date. What was the date? June 1st. Pardon? I don't know what day. June 1st. J-U-N-E 1st. Thank you. Is this related to the... Yes. Yeah. Is there a sign-up sheet? Because I certainly bring some of the... I don't know that anyone in Occupy has organized a, a, an effort to... This is for raising money, and that's not something we do. Yeah, it's, it's for the orgs, the other orgs in the building, mostly, I think. So you could talk to them. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. You, I'm sure you could pick Wham or police brutality or welfare rights and just donate it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. because I thought that's where we were doing them, but there's a rally. Condoleezza Rice is uh, the honored guest for the Legal Aid Society honorees, <coughs> the, the lawyers who work for other people. Um, <coughs> their board selected Condoleezza Rice to honor them. And Amy Klobuchar is also going to be a featured speaker. And Technique Torture at the Top has organized um, a demonstration of protest May 23rd, 4 to 6, at the Hilton, if you can make it, we'd love to see you there. Hilton to downtown? Hilton downtown, Minneapolis, yes. Great. And thank you. And well, that's it. Thank you. Oh, you can look it up. Okay. Uh, I should uh, versus Santa, that yes, uh, this was uh, just announced. Uh, the group Mirac Minnesota Immigrant Rights Action Coalition has called a protest this coming Saturday at bright and early at 9 to 10 a.m. this coming Saturday outside of the Hennepin County Jail, which is at the corner of 4th Avenue and 5th Street in downtown Minneapolis near uh, you know, City Hall and the Federal Courthouse. 
that to tell Sheriff Stanick no more deportations in the Hennepin County Jail. Um, and uh, the, also, you can get there by the light rail, buses 3, 7, 16, 94, or 22. Stop using Hennepin County Jail as a deportation machine. Stop co cooperating with the Secure Communities Deportation Program. Stop honoring ICE detainer uh, requests, ICE Immigrations and Customs Enforcement. This is an action of MIRAC's No More Deportations campaign. And their website is mirac one number one dot wordpress dot com. I have other uh, info, and I could attempt the, the Spanish version of this announcement. But anyway, um, I should mention that Secure Communities is a program of the Department of Homeland Security. It involves using borrowed federal money to create biometric systems in, in uh, local jails and federalizing local jails to build a national biometric system. And so Stanek and other jail and other jailers get lots of federal money to kind of do the dirty work for the immigration regime. So um, I just wanted to put in a good word because this was just announced this Saturday at 9 a.m. at the jail. So Sounds really good. Gabriel. Um, yeah, um, I'm one of the people part of Mirac. We do this every month, and we also do a, a, a meal here every month. So if anyone wants to know, I can give you the next couple of days. OK, so see you in the next couple of days. Yeah. Okay. Good. Mirac dinners. Thank you. Did someone else have a thing related to Dan's announcement? No. Okay. Uh, we got Street Medics. Is that an announcement? Yeah. yeah. Hi, I'm Maya. Street Medic. We are, as we speak, trying to get together in a new Street Medic training for this year. Some of our people have moved away, and so on and so forth. Anyway, we need more Street Medics. What Street Medics do is demonstrations and marches and such wise we give emergency medical care. Sometimes the ambulances don't get there and don't show up and so on and so forth. So we need more street medics. So uh, think about it. You don't need any prior medi medical training at all. And training is free. It takes COVID how long? Like two days? Uh, I was, it's a 20 hour training. So Thank you. Yep. Thank you. So just think about it and look in your heart for willingness and so should they contact you if they're interested? Is that it? Oh, me or Cobra. And we still haven't got a date or anything set up. So okay. search for willingness in your heart. It's not scary. <coughs> Come on. Um, I would do it, dude. Huh? I already do it. Um, <laughs> All right. I think there's at least one more announcement. Uh, Van Jones protest? Yes. Um, for those of you who don't know, there's um, speaking Condi Rice come to town. Well, Van Jones is coming to town. And for those of you who don't know who Van Jones is, um, Van Jones could, especially given the discussion coming up very, very soon, can be considered to be one of the public faces of the um, corporate co-optation of many progressive groups um, and funneling, channeling progressives into the corporate corrupted system. And so there's a group of us have decided that we've had enough of that lying bullshit to we're actually organizing a protest of Van Jones, getting right in his face as a full progressive corporate attack, which is what he is. It's going to be this Sunday, May 19th, starting at 4.30 p.m. It's going to be at the Unity Church Unitarian, which is on Portland Avenue in St. Paul. We have a Facebook site set up. Um, love to see people show up and, um, and just, you know, very publicly point out that uh, that this man is co is helping the co-optation and um, corporate funding of uh, the progressive movements. Uh, you said this Sunday the 19th, 4 p.m. What was the name of the venue? Oh, the uh, Unity Church Unitarian in St. Paul. Oh, yeah. Portland, I mean... <coughs> Portland. 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 Is that yeah. a growl? Yeah. 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 And he's going to show up at 5. Yeah. All right. Do you have a question, or is this well, not topic? I was hoping to just add something to the announcement that I didn't get time to put up there, and it's getting kind of full on the board. Quickly, please. But uh, just it, more, more as like a point of process is like this group was originally established as a non-voting body. I just want everyone to like remember how that was actually set up, a non-voting body, and uh, I wanted to add an announcement to. Uh, Make a, a proposal to elect an electoral body for Occupy Homes as well. Gotcha. Thank you. Uh, anyone else? Any other <laughs> points? <laughs> okay.
Uh, reports, I have three different things here. Lion for Red Lake. Uh, can, can I just jump in with a technical question real quick? If anybody has a, a USB to, to iPhone uh, cable, like USB on one end, I, older iPhone on the other, if you happen to have one with you, okay, I would, okay, if anyone has one with them. I got a Blackberry one. No, just the iPhone type. If anybody has one, that's all. Thank you. Okay. So, I think okay. I'm guessing that these reports won't take too long. I could be wrong. Does anyone feel, Lion, do you feel like um, this is going to be a long? No? Um, I mean, the gay marriage thing, I think, could be fairly fast. So yes. It's done. So, um, and the Rose McGee thing, not that long? Yes, yeah, that's fast. Okay. So, can we just run through these reports real quick and then get to the discussion? Thank you. Thank you for that feedback. Could somebody Is there volunteer to like get all these times and things on the side of the little table? Yeah. What are you doing? Okay, cool. I'll come to the office. Yeah, sorry, I mean we didn't have a lot of space. This is a this whiteboard is always a mess because we don't know what's going to go on there. And so it's hard to plan a space when you don't know how much and what's going to go on there. And then it's my writing. So use the wall. Sorry, Occupy, Occupy might do better to have someone with better names. Anyway, um, but anyway, let's get through the report backs. Uh, Lion, you want to go? Yeah, I, you know, I, um, I went up to Red Lake this last Wednesday, actually, Tuesday night, Wednesday, Wednesday night, they came back Thursday, um, to give medic support and Occupy support for their annual spiritual run, which this year was in support of the pipeline which goes through their reservation. We <coughs> turn out the support for excellent. Um, I also wanted to talk really briefly about news from the encampment up there. We all heard that there was a fire up there, and I didn't really get any details until I got up there, but they are rebuilding pretty well from the fire. There's still people there. They are in process, as we speak, of getting the needs list for us here. I haven't got it yet, but I would bring it tonight, but I hope next week I'll have a needs list. But they are strong and upstanding and not squashed at all by their fire and the run was outstanding. And that's all I got. And they need stuff, but I'll let you know what stuff as soon as I know. Is there a particular bottom liner in our group? Are you bottom lining like as a liaison? Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I, I uh, searched out the guy who's sort of bottom lining the occupation of being given up. No, his name is Jay. He's the guy that's actually on the show. Jay is? Interesting. Okay. Yeah, Jay's Yeah. Yeah, so he's going to go back to me. I've got to be bring out yada. So we don't have anybody from here to the encampment, so I sort of volunteered him. So like that. How dare you? I'm just. Okay. Just okay. All right. Thank you very That's much for that report. Uh, who wants to talk about the new marriage? Oh, I just want to say it was wonderful. And it <laughs> was wonderful. The sea change in the culture. Yeah. So it's yeah. it's, it's yeah. huge. So we just keep working for that change. Yeah. Stonewall was in 1969. Yeah. Sea change and not the ones. Yeah. Because that was the 12th stage. What happened to hands? Sorry. <laughs> 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 playing it tough tonight, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, thank you. Um, uh, anything else that people, someone wanted to add? Th thank you so much for this is such an important historical time for Minnesota. Yeah. Yes. Like we're doing State some things right. All right. Uh, Rose McGee. Sure. So um, for those of you who haven't heard, um, Rose McGee, with whom, we, with whom Occupy Homes has been working since. I think August, finally won her home yesterday. Yep, yep. Um, so it's such good news. And thank you so much to everybody. There were a number of people who came out for her vigil and court support um, yesterday. It really made a difference. And there have been people who have been around for the 
this whole time. And so thank you guys for your support on that. It's really, really exciting. There'll be upcoming celebrations. I'm sure you'll hear about them. Nice. So can you remind me where Rose lives? She lives in Golden Valley. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Is she, did you say there's <coughs> some kind of celebration? Um, yes. There aren't details for that now, but I can keep you guys posted. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Clarifying question. When she yeah. say she you won her home, what happened? Did she refinance? What was, when you say won, what do you mean? By yeah, that? so she reached a settlement with um, City Mortgage and Fannie Mae to stay in her home with affordable payments. I don't know. I don't know the details, and, um, but it's it's satisfactory to Rose, so that's really important. Thank you. Okay, um, I think we're back to discussion, unless somebody had another report that they were holding back on. Were there any on that list that are actually announcements? No, this is just a copy of that. The oh, time and yeah. place. Gotcha. I have I have paint to make another one of these if anybody wants to do it. Because we clearly need two mm. big ones. Or I have chalkboard paint that we can just paint this wall. That'd be kind of cool. I'm just saying. I'm dead serious. I have chalkboard paint. I know, but, but it, this is also a party. Yeah. You know, like well, black walls. What yeah. party decorations? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It sounds you know, like something yeah. to discuss yeah. more later. I'd be willing to put the other one first if other people would be okay with that too. Sounds like a house. Um, hands, please. I think we've got Personal conversations outside, please. Okay. Um, so, how do people feel about talking about the meeting space first? Mm. What? Uh, GA meeting, where and when? I put it on there. Who wants it? It seems like um, that's pretty important because if we. I heard that there's a proposal to move the meeting to an outdoor venue. Is that is that what this is about? No, it's not. Oh. No, they would just be this. Yeah. Who put it on? Chuck did. Chuck did. CJ. CJ did. <laughs> Captain Jack Sparrow. Don't, don't blame You're don't Ninja blame Chuck. <laughs> um, so, Chuck, what did, can you clarify? CJ. Like <laughs> yes, CJ Chuck. Yes, um, I'd like to know uh, which issue. The, uh, GA. You wrote this up here. What did yeah, you mean by yeah. it? So, okay, so uh, I'd like to know uh, how we call it GA. Who can call it? I was told that I can't because people don't like me. But maybe I thought somebody else can. Um, I'd like to call it GA. Oh, I, I, I did that. And then uh, I'd like to know, like to know uh, where they should be. I guess we don't want them to have them here. But at least at the same time, making the same space might be okay. But uh, when there will be appropriate to have the GA, so should be made. For example, if we decide to let whether it's the, the um, media committee or the finance committee, as I like to recommend, we should have a place where we can make decisions. And I kind of like the idea of this being a space for just for discussion, but then we should have a place where we can make decisions too if we decide important issues and actually do something. Yeah. Sure. Um, well, personally, uh, I um, earlier I, I had sort of advance the idea of not holding the GAs in the Skyway anymore, because that was a physically uncomfortable and inaccessible space for lots of people. Although the fact it was indoors in terms of temperature did help a lot for some other people. Um, but to my view, it seems to me like GAs relate specifically to occupied spaces. And so if people wanted to go occupy a park or some other you know, privately owned public space or something like that, 
I think it would be logical that you'd want to have GAs maybe once or twice a day there if you were actually like occupying a space. And I think if that wanted to, you know, if people wanted to do that and make that happen and say, this is Occupy, I think other folks would look at that and hopefully support it. So that seems like a logical reason to have a GA. But in terms of the fact that we're not, you know, physically holding forth with civil disobedience in some park right now, it's to me questionable as to whether something like a GA is really n necessary or particularly helpful given our previous experience. Thank you. CJ. Second Avenue, pretty, pretty near the uh, Second Avenue, which we've been holding for about three or four months. We've held, we held uh, bank loan houses for uh, since for over a year uh, at different times and places. So uh, that might be a place to hold a GA if you'd be fine with that. Deb? Uh, I guess I'd like to piggyback on what Dan said in that um, I think when, you, when people were at the plaza, there were a lot of people always coming and going and knew when a GA was going to happen. And I have concerns that, that people aren't occupying a space, so therefore, you know, two people could be making a decision about the, the whatever it is that Occupy Homes just put forth. What do you refer to that as? A proposal. Proposal. And you know what I mean? And really the group's not there, because we're not always there. Okay, Chuck, you have? Yes, I, I agree. Um, and I asked a, a concern of mine, too, that sometimes decisions are brought to a block and and all that and uh, brought to a GA and then decided on the same meeting. And that's totally inappropriate in my view. I think we have to have some announcement uh, sometimes so that we, people that are interested in the issue can make sure that they're, they're there. That's important. Um, I, I would just like to point out that like, the whole process of like, the way this was set up is like a non-decision that the body so I, I, I agree with Dan and what he's saying about, I, I don't know why we really need decision-making bodies. If we have autonomous groups that are doing their own actions, they can go and do whatever they need to do and come back and you know, look for help here. And, and that's about it. Um, I'm dovetailing a bit of what Dan had said. Um, and watching how GAs have dissolved since we've lost encampments and to the extent projects have spun off and in the Twin Cities the project I would say that has spun off and become its own group would be Occupy Homes. They have a very unique structure of how they meet and make decisions and they that's theirs. This group is, as I understand it, a reporting of all the committees and um, in the time I've been part of this group, the only time we've ever called the GA since we lost the encampments was when we were asked to endorse something or questionable about the national gathering and things having to do with Occupy as a whole. Um, usually, if you want a GA, the person calls it and they know what they're trying to accomplish. We aren't, I don't see us holding a GA for the hell of it with no one no agenda item because that's not how Occupy is functioning anymore in the entire country. But in New York, we've called three of them since we lost the cop. They've been for very explicit purposes. Um, we've called them here twice that I'm aware of for very specific purposes. But um, the process that was there was when we were like a city and we were a community and we had food, clothing, shelter, medical, space issues, we pay, we pass the hat and pass, you know, provide rent here. We aren't occupying this building. So I, I don't know what the purpose of a GA would be. If you have a set purpose, that's a very different thing. And then you are empowered. Any one of us as a member can try to call a GA. We may or may not get people to come. I know I was here last summer when we called one and people didn't come. So that's... Toby? Um, when I was, when I got here and I realized that what was going to happen in this meeting, I, it, I, I luckily brought the floor with me with, with all sorts of stuff from this, this whole media argument. And just want to read something real quick from... Is it quick? It is quick. Okay. Easy to uh, talk. 
real quick from um, uh, uh, you know, April 10th. Point of process. Um, no interruptions, please. Um, from April 10th, from Occupy Homes in Minnesota, when they're, they're a proposal for a democratic process. Um, it says, movements grow and split as different philosophical, philosophical and political approaches manifest themselves. You consolidate into different tendencies and eventually form separate organizations which in turn create their own forms of structures, strategies, processes, and decision-making bodies. This is a natural process which does not necessarily stand in And I've, I always, I've had a problem with this argument that, uh, that um, Occupy Homes Minnesota uh, can be their own separate organization and have their own separate, separate separate um, uh, devices and, and, and political approaches, but not the media. Jack? We're trying to find uh, one My name is Karen. Karen. Um, I'll respond to what Karen had to say. I think that's precisely why the Occupy movement has gone from millions of people down to maybe thousands of people if we're lucky. Because we are not having a we're not making decisions. I think that we need to make decisions about things that are, that are important to all the groups that are involved with Occupy. And that would include the media committee, that would include uh, uh, getting a, a finance committee going again. I think these are things that are critical to having a successful organization. Right now, I think our finance committee is handled by the WAM Occupy committee. I think we need, we need, we need to be handled by a different kind of body. Um, I just want to say, I don't really know the history of all this stuff, but just objectively, I do think decisions were made, and people are talking about decisions weren't made, and love you, but decisions were made. Mm -hmm. And it's sort of like we're walking around saying, well, nobody made any decisions. Well, yeah, some big decisions were made to split up <coughs> the accounts, mm -hmm. mass media, whatever y'all call it. You know, so that, I mean, that has to be looked at. I mean, the big issue is folks want more access to the media accounts. I don't know if this can be resolved, but I think we could go philosophical for eternity. But I think that we should just like decide if we can compromise and get the media crap back on track and be separate then if you want or whatever. Ryan, quick. Point of process, yeah, I think. One thing is to want GAs, if so, where, when, and what do they do? And another thing is the media thing. These are two separate issues, and I think if you try to talk about them both at the same time, it's not going to work out very well. So can we please now stick to CJ's um, Thank you, dear. Topic. GAs. I, I would just say that in contradiction to what you said about not having GAs being what has people not involved in Occupy, I would say that GAs and the absolute abysmal process that went through it are what made people leave because it wasn't functioning for the greater extent of anything that was working in. You had stupid arguments between people that just didn't get along, and everyone left because there was nothing getting done that was positive. Um, like Karen said, there's, we really have no cause to have a GA uh, because we don't have this community, to, we don't have ongoing uh, decisions to make. Uh, the reason that there's an Occupy Minneapolis and an Occupy Homes and all these things are because they split off from Occupy Minnesota. And way back when they had these disruptive GAs, they chose to go march and do their own thing. And Occupy Minnesota website and your Twitter account and Facebook will post if they're having an action, if they're having uh, something that they want to get out to people. They're going to have a rally. They're going to defend a home. Uh, they have some issue is that true we should get more into that when we get to that discussion <laughs> point and i can lay out my view on that Eric, then CJ. but oh, as to the there. gas though is where yeah so um 
I don't think that there's a reason to call a GA that just like Occupy Homes created and, and controls and spirited away their media accounts. Uh, Occupy Men was there for people to invest their time and their effort in and the people that have control of it now are the ones who invested their time and their energy in it. Um, I don't see, you know, how we can create a third party to mediate. No. Yeah, um, I'm glad that somebody's bringing up GAs. I mean, I know it's been a topic that's been kind of on and on, but um, for me personally, like GAs in a way represents small d democracy. Um, and I know that a lot of people had negative feelings about many of the GAs that we had as a group. Um, and I think that we should not like dismiss GAs just because people had some negative experiences with that. I, I've used this analogy before, but I think of GAs as um, <clears throat> muscles that uh, can be exercised. Uh, and you know, if the society that we come from, <clears throat> I'll just say the society we come from, I will, I'll take the if out, hasn't had a lot of practice in small d democracy, that muscle is out of shape. And so I personally feel like GAs are a step towards democracy. That said, I also take Tom's point, like we haven't had a clear reason to meet as a group in that decision-making capacity. Um, I think you can pretty much assume, I don't know when, at some point we're going to see uh, a collapse again. I mean, some people say 2008 was the collapse of the financial system. I think the next collapse, whatever it is, whether it's you know peak fuel, economic, uh, environmental, it's going to happen for sure within this generation, I think before so long. And at that point, it might be good to have a structure for making decisions because at that point, there will be a lot of decisions that need to be made. And I apologize for taking up too much time. Sorry, CJ? Yeah, I think the reason the GA didn't work is because for a long time we insisted upon 100% consensus. Even Ducati Park had 90% consensus. And uh, Occupy Homes uses 66%, I think it is right now. And they have really well attended meetings, often, usually much larger than this. When we packed up the, the places, the living room was full, the, 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 the dining room was full. Uh, this is a really large, well attended meeting where they make decisions to get things done. They had a success today um, with, uh, with, the, with the house that was. Uh, who was talking about closure. And they've done this now, I think, 10 times. Uh, so this, the things need to be done. Uh, they are being done by Occupy Homes. We need to get some things done here, too. And we can, make, we can do it better for making decisions. If we have the Finance Committee accountable to us, we have the Media Committee accountable to us, then we can, then we can get these things done. Point of information. We never worked on a 100% consensus. We always had a way to override a block. That's all I got. Oh, Chuck, sorry, oh, go ahead. Chuck yeah, I had this question as long as I've been coming here, uh, in coming to what is called the All Committee <laughs> meetings. And uh, the question that keeps coming to my mind is what committees and of what? <laughs> <laughs> the All Committee meeting of of what? And what committees? I'm not a member of any committee. I come, I get huh? Oh that well I never knew I was that. <laughs> I thought that was an activity like tennis. We were calling you that behind the Okay, all right, all right, all right, 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 right. Hey, 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 come, 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 come. Order in the court. Okay. Okay, Elena. So somebody can explain all <laughs> Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, to me, to me, a GA is for an occupation 
where decisions are supposed to be made. It's been said over and over again, decisions aren't supposed to be made at this, at this body itself, and um, they weren't meant to be made, and there is no occupation, and I don't see a reason for a GA. I guess I need to let it dovetail. Oh. I feel like there's an elephant, and I, I need to address what I think you're trying to do. And I'm going to ask the question of Occupy Homes. They're here. The two of you that are here. Um, if you're proposing that a GA be held in all Occupy Homes business, answer to that GA, and not your existing structure that you've chosen to create, and you want to throw that in the pot. That's a very different issue than what I feel is being asked of us, because I feel like there's a control here of Occupy Homes wanting to control Occupy Minnesota. And that is wrong. If you want to put equal in and say you're going to stop having your Saturday meetings and your paid staff and your decision making for closed national meetings, and you're going to do that, that's very different. And if you're okay with that, I think we all need some time to think about that. But what I feel like is being said is that you don't like how this Wednesday night meeting meets. And to the extent we don't have an encampment, to the extent we do have committees, and I would say I was very much a part of the legal committee. We worked very hard on that. But I feel like when I've gone to those Occupy Home meetings before I had to pay to join, um, the reality was I couldn't go up on a board and write something on an agenda. I wasn't allowed to do that. I would raise my hand and wasn't even called on. And I went Saturday after Saturday last year for over nine months. Um, I, I, I don't, I, I feel like there's a double standard. And I think it's wrong to act like we are not. So if you're suggesting, CJ, that Occupy Homes management has decided they're gonna throw their management into the GA and we as a group are gonna manage Occupy Homes along with all of Occupy Minnesota I think you might get some attendance at that GA. But I don't think that's what you're asking. So I'm asking a clarifying question of the two people from Occupy Homes. Sure. So I think that, um, is, can I finish that? Yep. Great. So um, I think part of what's going on here is we keep talking about three groups without naming them as three. We are naming them as two and using names interchangeably, which I think is confusing. And so I want to just start by naming those. We've got Occupy Homes. We've got Occupy Minneapolis and we've got Occupy Minnesota, which um, to my understanding is supposed to represent the Occupy movement at large within Minnesota. And so the question about um, the media committee in part is that it seems to be coming from Occupy Minneapolis, um, centered in Occupy Minneapolis and making, and making those decisions and it's not, and Occupy Homes continues to be part of Occupy Minnesota. Um, so I think that's part of it. Susie, there's stack, there's stack first. Hold on a second. Susie. So can I ask she a has clarifying has question? Has she was answering my question. Can I ask clarifying? So you're saying Quick. there's three groups? Would you give me the names again? Because I'm obviously, I have a different understanding. So tell me the three Holmes, groups. Holmes, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Okay. So is this Minnesota or Occupy Minneapolis? This group right here? I was told this was Occupy Minneapolis. <laughs> okay, I have stack going. I'm sorry, but we need to keep on on this okay. stack because this is a really ongoing right now. So first it was Susie, then it was CJ, then it was Dan, and Can then Deb. Huh? I was before John. Whatever. Were you? Yeah. Thank oh, you, Beth. Okay. Whatever. It's fine. Um, I just we did have a couple of GA calls for one to support the uh, tar sands action down in um, you know the southern part of it, and one. I guess to support the welfare rights rally. And then, then we decided after really um, some people who've done more thinking about it than myself, and, uh, decided as a group that we really shouldn't be making, calling those votes for this group. Uh, because we are not an official body making decisions for everybody. And, um, so I just wanted to throw that piece of information in. But if we were to make a decision, we definitely would want to advertise it and let people be involved mm -hmm. in the decision making. Yeah. CJ. Well, we do have an occupation, but I we have an occupation on 2nd Avenue down here. We should have more of them. If we have more resources, we can do that. 
Uh, Hold on, you guys. Going on at, uh, uh, Jessica's house at, I think it's 33, 25, on 2nd Avenue. It's been going on for months. Months. People have been holding this, this, this house down. So we have occupations right now. We've got other occupations going on. What's happened, though, because of our disorganization, because of the infighting, we've gotten, the last headlines, it's eight pages are occupied infighting. Anarchists can't, just can't get along. Here we have another one. Uh, occupied, yeah. Minnesota Pets and Tigers occupied Minnesota. Tell us a good commercial and CJ. I believe that this really has nothing to do with oh, the discussion right now. This, this, this really so can we get to the point? Here we have one good article here that's about, uh, about the McAllister uh, occupation and occupied homes participated in that. It's a really good article, but here right in the middle of it, it says, see also occupied Minnesota cuts ties and occupied homes, calls a group of classes and raises for a uh, uh, commercial. This is what's happened because of not being able to make decisions uh, uh, and, and, and anybody else going on. Let's stop it. Let's stop this. Okay. Dan, okay. please clarify. Yeah, I just, uh, I would ask direct question to CJ or anybody with Occupy Homes. If people meet in meetings at what is labeled Jessica's house, although she holds no title to that structure, are those people allowed to participate on an equal basis without being paying members of Occupy Homes or not neighbors organizing for change? And can people reside in that space who are chemically dependent houseless people? Can, is it, if, you, is it, if you want to have an occupation there, is it, is it open access to folks to stay there to participate or not right now? Okay, I can answer that. Yeah. Um, so there were two parts to that. The first part is about decision making at Occupy Homes. At the site too though. At, at the Saturday meetings, sure. No, I mean, the, I'm sorry, I meant the house. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, so to me that's the same because we hold our Saturday meetings at the house. Okay. So um, the way decisions are made within Occupy Homes is we have monthly member meetings and we have the requirements for membership are that you have to have been to one event and one meeting in the last three months. And um, we also ask that people pay $10 a month membership dues if they're able. Um, is there, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Am I forgetting anything? Okay, great. Um, yeah, we ask that people do that if they're able. We've never turned anyone away for not being able to pay. And so those people um, participate in, in the meetings. As for, um, I mean, as for, well, can you repeat your can second question? question? Sure, go ahead. Yeah. So, yeah, so right now we have uh, Jessica's house. Jessica has children. She's staying there. We also have a formerly homeless person who's staying next to this hotel prior to moving in there. His name was Josh. He stays there. Uh, he may, have, may, may or may not have been chemically dependent in the past, but he's not using it right now. And it's important if you have children who have families, if you're in a neighborhood that has children and families, and maybe you don't have people that are currently um, using uh, large amounts of alcohol or drugs, or maybe selling drugs, things like that. But there's children around. There are neighborhoods where there's, there's children. So, uh, but uh, I think people that are chemically dependent, they have their, their situation under control, would be very much welcome to stay there. Um, and uh, but by the way, I've participated fully in Occupy Homes. I've never paid dues. So, uh, I'm sure one of these days we'll get around to it, but so far I haven't. Nobody's even questioned me about it. But you, you, you paid me to pay dues for knock, though, right? I just started paying dues for knock. And that, I, I joined them last week, okay. uh, last month rather, started paying dues for knock, but uh, I'm not sure that's true. Okay, so is that in writing who is and isn't allowed to stay at that house? Um, is it specified? No. I don't think it's a meeting. There were, just please, excuse me, okay, there were a list of rules. Okay. All okay. Right. Um, so on that note. Well, I guess I can call for a what I wanted to ask was like a call for like a, a temperature check. If people around here are amenable to the idea that if we heard about a GA going on where people are recognized as participants on an equal basis, do we as individuals have a positive idea of that and perhaps be willing to tell people it's going on? I just want to know do people have a temperature check? There's a GA where everyone's treated equally. Do we feel good about that? Yay. Yeah? Yes? Yay. Yeah. 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 All right. So, pretty well received. Anybody down? No? Okay. I don't understand the point. Well, I just want to say, like, if there were GAs, we, we're, like, friendly to that idea, in, loosely, you know? I just want to throw that idea out there. I don't know. Karen? Okay. 
I, I, I think my question I asked was not yet answered, which was if Occupy Homes is wanting to put their stuff on the agenda, like they want to put Occupy Minnesota and Occupy Minneapolis on the agenda, I would be open to a GA, but I was feeling like it was an organization from the outside coming in telling this group how to operate. That mm -hmm. I'm not okay with, and I'm not okay with participating in a GA like that. Mm -hmm. I need to make that very clear. And I, I'm seeing lots of twinkles that are agreeing with me. I'll do that. Now, if you're putting Occupy Homes management in the table, too, and you want to <laughs> really get at what's happened between the two groups, because there is dissension between the two, and there's real reasons for it having happened. I do not feel it could be held at Jessica's house. I think it would have to have an agenda that's prepared well in advance, and I think you'd need a professional facilitator, very different than was done last time. And but that's not a GA. That is not a GA. So I feel like you're using Occupy terminology because that's what this group is, and that's the name you chose to pick for your organization, but the reality is, Occupy operates differently than Occupy Homes does. It's not right or wrong, it's a fact. And our agendas are very different. And to, to want to have one group come in and want to control the other feels very wrong to me and very non-democratic. Um, <coughs> oh, I, I, I didn't, when I first went to the GA, there were a lot of native guys right around the edges saying, hey, hey, ho, ho, EGO has got to go. Ego. There's something about the GAs and what it brings out in people's egos that has made me hardly ever be able to sit through one. And I would like to see but, uh, literature of what other groups are doing to come to soften the GA process or make it different before I got on board with it. I never liked it. Because uh, it seemed to be <coughs> combativeness and a whole lot of ego. People taking over and running things in a domineering kind of uh, grand, grand, yeah. grandstanding kind of way. Nathan? Um, yeah, as a, as, you know, as a former SEIU organizer, I know that if, you know, if there is a GA called and this, this uh, resolution is put up on it, uh, the professional organizers at SEIU can out, they can out turn us, I mean, they can create a lot of turnout, they could bring 100 people easy, and the, the democracy of this group would be totally undermined. They can do it. They could they could bring a hundred people and we could bring maybe fifty. So okay, Well, it's 
Well, we're still in this other agenda item, and we haven't even gotten to the media stuff yet, and I've been like holding on that. So let's please try to wrap out this GA thing and okay, move. Line, this that, was, that was what I wanted to say. That okay. right now we're just talking about GA, and the media thing is a separate issue. And if we talk about two things at once, yeah. we're just going to get angry for some twists. Okay, so we're <laughs> staying on topic on the GA. Um, Toby, you had something? 30 seconds, please. Oh, yeah, really quick. One, boys. Really quick on um, the, the three groups that you mentioned. Um, it's. It's really what, what's concerned here is, is the occupied Minnesota media group, not occupied in Minnesota. Okay. That's okay. The difference. okay, so Angel. Or, er, Eric, Angel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I had a clarifying question. Now I'm so long I have to think. Um, uh, this proposed GA, this is just a discussion, but. Uh, the hypothetical GA would not conflict with this Wednesday potluck, correct? No, we're not. Thank you. Okay, Doug. I'm just going to stand strong and I'm going to stand strong against, I do think this is like an underhanded sort of ploy to, like you said, bring people in to get what they want ultimately, which is the media thing. And I think the media thing should be like resolved in some other place or else be told that that this conversation is going to happen at an occupied campus in the southern meeting on Wednesday night ahead of time, et cetera, et cetera. I really have some really, I really have some kind of strong feelings about that. Okay. Uh, this GA thing, again, there's not the, the different committees, the tar sands, the um, <clears throat> raising the grants, the things that we're working on this session don't require a GA. I don't know if um, it would be useful to park uh, the Occupy MN Facebook page and just have a front page that says, go to Occupy MN. And then we could have a little corner that Occupy Homes could spam. And the rest of us could use the, just, I totally agree with Chuck, is we've lost a cohesive identity. And the OccupyMN.com website is what I would like to maintain as a all state information network and have it up to date and have it, you know, for our committee meetings, it's working well. For Occupy Homes, I, I see things, I get emails through Occupy MN events about Occupy Homes. So I'm hearing about Occupy Homes. So I'm not seeing an issue. Mike. Right. Can you please not talk about the media thing, but stay on top of Thing. Yeah. Next. Next. Okay. Um, I propose move on. <laughs> Anybody else have anything to say? You have 30 seconds and I can will time you. <laughs> Oops. Thank you, Loki. Now it's open. Okay. So, um, uh, so did we like flip the Yeah. Okay, so which one's which? Well, elected committees and voting within Occupy. Okay. <laughs> I think it would be kind of the same topic. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anybody want to put points on that? On, on, on the first? Okay. I'm just speaking about my committee, but some committees take special expertise too. So, 
I'm a little reluctant about the idea of let's select all the committees. As a matter of fact, I think it's a terrible plan. <laughs> uh, Moral vote, anyone? Can I just clarify? I didn't mean that. I didn't mean we should elect the, the, the uh, committee committee and things like that. I think we should elect the committees that, are, that we all use. For example, the Finance Committee, the Media Committee. Maybe there's some other ones, but those are the two we're talking about right now. Other kinds so, of Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you a question. Okay, so I have a question. I'm going to put myself on stack here. Uh, <laughs> and we all know who I am. Uh, then what's this? This is what we're talking about. I've never seen it. Oh. I've never seen it. Becky. Yes. Love you with all my heart. I didn't get a copy either. I didn't get one. No, they didn't. Please, hold on, hold on. Question. Yeah. If the committees were already, you know, finance committee dissolved itself because of stuff like this, um, and this was proposed onto this table, which is a non-voting, you know, meeting, basically, um, who put this up? Who started it? Had the idea? Like who stands I mean, behind it? Yeah, who stands behind it? I think Chris would probably make us knows it. Yeah. Let's not do. Let's not. Let's not play. Let's not play. Let's elaborate. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. 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 So she has. You. He just wrote it up. What do you mean? Did I'm he sorry, I, I said that. <laughs> it's the, it's the, this is part of the um, elected committees deal with who's going to vote on who's on this and that media team, all that stuff. Um, mm -hmm. He wrote this up. Did he propose it to Occupy Homes, or did he just come in and propose it to all of us and then leave? It came out of Occupy Homes. Okay, so there was a vote within Occupy Homes for this to come to this meeting to vote on this. Um, let me see. I think that. Yeah, there was. Um, I think. I think I missed that meeting. I had a family emergency. It was a long time ago when we started um, moving forward with this. There was an earlier draft that Mary brought a couple months ago. But yeah. Um, okay. There was, yeah, it was voted on at a meeting, and there was a subcommittee elected to, to work on. Was the subcommittee um, elected with the people inside that committee part of Occupy Homes? Because does anybody else remember this meeting being up at all? Open meeting. Okay. We have we have meetings every Saturday. You're all welcome to come. I wasn't at that meeting. Sure. I didn't see. Okay. Just wondering. Just questions. Okay. Go ahead. I just, um, I just want to say something that's kind of like an outsider. I mean, I don't really think I'm an outsider. I've been a protester for like 20 years, and I've seen this kind of stuff happen a lot. But let me bring up two things that I just recently saw, and I'll try to really close down what I think is going on here. <laughs> One thing is about this committee. Now, I think committees are a good idea for certain things, but as Lyon pointed out, not everything. So let's take away the fact that it's Occupy Homes that brought this into their, our meeting. Let's put it as a situation that just came into the meeting as an idea. Okay, we all had an idea at one point or another. Wouldn't it be nice to have a financial committee? Wouldn't it be nice to have like a treasury? All these things. And I know these are all like really major ideas to basically discuss. But why not basically just use it as an individual idea as opposed to worrying so much about where it came from? I understand that it's like this outside group came here, okay? There's three groups now that we've been discussing amongst ourselves, but we really need to speak to it as an individual uh, problem or idea with this group. So I don't think there's any problem with that per se. The other thing that I would raise as a committee um, discussion, a part of this discussion is that I think that what's obvious here is that there should be a committee set up for another branch group that has basically been trying to like, at one point or another, try to get some sort of leadership going and has actually done some good things. Occupy Homes has gotten really bad media, okay? I know that from what I've seen. And I think the number one reason why is because there's people basically going around back and forth talking to each other about who does this in Occupy Homes and who does this in Occupy Minneapolis and who does this on, it goes on Facebook too, and I see a lot of it on Facebook. So all this infighting can be actually ironed out and taken care of with the idea that I'm gonna to present to you. Have a committee that does just something for occupied homes, but have like <laughs> two guys who are interested in meeting on a regular basis, find somewhere that's outside of this group, okay, that meets here on Wednesdays. You seem like a much more casual, you know, let's get together, have some eats, and you know, and that kind of stuff, as opposed to like, you know, let's go burn down like, you know, the mansion that's, you know, over in Kenwood. 
So you don't know what's going on. Wait a minute. They're going to do that? <laughs> that's just what it I seems like. <laughs> so I'm just going to suggest that, that it's like open up a discussion for a committee that would be just specifically for Occupy Homes. Let them have their committee, but then let them meet basically outside of the area of this, what this is all about. And then have like whoever basically from this group wants to go there can go there. I think, uh, I think where this comes from is everything. I think, uh, you know, if you had a pyramid, you'd have Wall Street at the top. Below that, you'd have the Democratic Party. Below that, you'd have SEIU. Mm -hmm. Below that, you'd have NOC. Below that, you'd have Occupy Homes. Um, they, are, they are proven to be undemocratic. So if we let them in with this stupid yeah. resolution, yeah. Yeah. there goes the democracy for this group. You so. do know that I'm not talking about Yeah, and I'm government. not trying to uh, single you out. Um, it was That's a valid statement. Good idea, by the way. Um, Lions. I think you should not place this group in You know, first of all, I just want to say uh, I am actually kind of shocked to see that Chuck has taken my title of being potty mouth of the group. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it away too. Shocked to say that. Somebody had to do it. Somebody had to do it. Um, and I guess thank you very much for everything you just said because you just opened up exactly where I've been at. Um, for all of you in Knock Your Homes, I'm, I'm speaking for me personally, but I know that I'm not speaking alone when I say this. I don't trust Knock Your Homes at all on any level whatsoever. Yeah. And there's a whole series of reasons, and that man just gave the lineage on why I don't trust them, okay? I've watched as these well-funded foundation groups have been corrupting progressive movements all over the country, all over the fucking country, all over. And they bring in these undemocratic bullshit memes. And by the way, um, I went to the, the, the uh, Occupy Homes rally at the Capitol today. I went there today to see what they were gonna say and what they were gonna do. And let me tell you, folks, it was a DFL-friendly rally. And, and, like I, and I said this about Occupy Homes. I've said about the Anti-War Committee. i said about all these, what I'm starting to call, full aggressive groups out there. There was a whole bunch of demands. We demand that you do X, A, B, and C. And you never hear an or else. You never hear this from the political establishment or else. All you hear is, we will demand that you do that or the next time we'll be really mad as we vote for you. <coughs> That's their, really their central message. And this voice that we're talking about is never allowed into those groups. People like us aren't allowed to speak at Occupy Homes. People like us aren't allowed to speak at anti-war rallies. People like us aren't allowed all over the goddamn place. And I watch this as progressive groups are co-opted all over the goddamn country. And that's the reason why I don't trust Occupy Homes. It comes right down to that, and that man right there, as a, for, as a former SEIU organizer, and I'm an, old, I'm an old union dog myself, and this man, as a former SEIU guy, is saying the goddamn truth. And you know as well as I do that the SEIU and the fucking Teamsters are very worse than this sort of corporate film. Yeah. I'm done. All right, uh, Steve. Here, here. Yeah, I I just tried to knock recently. I don't know a lot about that either, but I can testify that the Occupy Homes meetings are democratic. They're run democratically. I uh, people commend that anybody who's willing to do something on the agenda, they can uh, make a decision. So, uh, you know, that's my experience. That's my experience. So, so uh, um, people are allowed, allowed to speak. I'm, I'm surprised we're not allowed to speak at a, at a rally. I think we should be able to do it. And if you can't, I'll look into that because we should be able to speak. I'll find out why. I'd like to know more about this SCIU stuff. I want, I want, I want, I'm a proud newsletter called Occupy Incorporated. I want to hear about this. Not right now, I'm, but I, I want to know about it. And I, I'll publicize it. It'll be known if I find out about it. Give me, give me the facts. Other people have made assertions here that Occupy Homes House is taken over by somebody other than, than, than Occupy Homes, other than, than Doc, by some mysterious conspiracy, which they never write any documentation. So I'll also tell me about it. So I want documentation on the facts, and, and, and I'll publish it. I want to know. Acorn. That's your answer. Okay. Freddie Bob, I'll get the deal. Details yeah. and facts, okay? Sure. Right. I'm just, uh, um, I'm getting back to the elected committees. Like, um, it's been proposed that we have elected committees, but only certain committees will be elected. Um, why? What's the point of that? And uh, I'm just curious if anyone has an answer. <coughs> 
curiosity, what sort of committees do you want? I don't think we have a finance committee right now. Um, nope, and I we think that's the question. The question is, what kind of committees do you want? Specifically? Uh, the way that I understood that this group is set up since we <coughs> had a GA from the plaza, mm -hmm. I was a part of the media committee on the plaza, and basically what we decided to do is not have a, a voting body. We started this meeting while we still held the Specifically plaza. Specifically, though, of the committees. It's like, and again, what it, is the It's basically you want? a place for everyone to get together, yes. but we have individual groups that can work autonomously right. and do their own thing. And if you want to get involved in any one of those groups, go and talk to them. I'm pretty sure nobody's going to throw you out unless there's a valid reason for, well, you've been doing this and this, and none of us agree with that. So that, that's my main point. <coughs> summary of Occupy of this whole dispute. Um, I said another way this could this argument could go is Occupy Homes Minnesota asserts so much pressure from outside to related groups that the media committee is dissolved. This would end the dispute but in a very destructive manner. I mention this because it, there, there is a real although slight possibility of it happening. And in this document that, that we passed around so next um, Wednesday, May 20, 29th, um, they're planning to to be it resolved that the current occupied media, Minneapolis Media Committee is be dissolved and replaced by a new committee. It's this is happening. This is this. It, the people on the media media committee for the past year and a half, almost two years now, have been have been doing doing what they've done, the same with the Occupy Homes. They've been working hard at, at doing what they do. And it is, it is not up to an outside group to decide what, a, what happens inside another group. Thank you. Period. Mm -hmm. I should not have to have any say in what happens in Occupy Homes. I do not have any say that happens in the, in the media group. Because I decided I didn't want to be involved with this crap. I do my own thing, and I help out and, and cover. <coughs> I, I, I've covered every everybody's groups that are here. I mean, well, not everybody's groups, but, but I, I've covered Occupy Homes. I've covered Media Committee. I've tried to do it as balanced as I can, and I'm tired of, of, of this whole thing. Well said. I would like to point out the observation that three of the last six Wednesday night evenings have been taken over by Occupy Homes uh, putting themselves into our agenda. It's take, you know, this is a meeting, we, we're done. And then they have this, they, they want to take our meeting on the 29th to do the same thing, okay? So what, is this sabotage? Are they trying to stop us? From progressing on our issues, yep. on raising the grants, yep. on you know yep. all the yep. tar sands issues, yep. are they going to get the DOJ to take away you know to, to force Facebook to take away the administrative <laughs> yep. privileges of this? What, what is their point? Their own thing. So uh, I'd like to That's my say like my feeling on this. Uh, the Occupy MN Media Committee, I feel as though that is pretty much at this point an autonomous group. Um, and I don't feel as though Occupy, this, this Occupy group should have any fucking say in what the Occupy MN Media Committee or autonomous group should do. And doubly so for Occupy Home. I have a point of information, and some people haven't been here, and I appreciate your clarity. But Occupy Homes has its own website, has its own Facebook, has its own Twitter account. They split from Occupy Minnesota. And that little fact keeps getting left off here. Yeah. It's not like they aren't using social media. That's how they operate. So it's a point of information as they're sitting here fighting about a media committee. And I, I have to agree with what you say about how they keep coming in and dumping. Yeah. I, 
it's really wrong. And it is so unoccupied, like it's really sad that they even dare to call themselves Occupy Homes. Yeah. That, yeah. Uh, really I just, sad. I just want a copy. I just want a copy. I want hundreds <laughs> of copies. Give me some copies. I'll put it on the internet. I, okay, I'm just going to say this right now. Even though, you know, Becky's here for Occupied Homes, it kind of feels a little bit, you know, like everyone's angry. I understand, you know. Um, it's not her fault. No, just not saying her that right now. It's her leadership's fault, and they left a woman to take the Okay, 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 okay. 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 Understand. Okay, just please refrain from trying to attack them. Because that doesn't help any situations at all. And I know everyone has their personal, you know, issues and all that stuff. But remember, we're at a meeting with, like, every other person here. It's all based on respect and what other people's opinions are. But let's keep it fair, yeah. at least. Are, Thank you. Are we actually in the media topic now, officially? Um, like, yes. <laughs> okay. So... Well, I'll jump on stack we wherever. We have an hour until nine o'clock. Yeah. Is there so any other? Hold on, Dan. Um, we've spent literally forty-five minutes on this um, thing. Okay. Um, I've read it. Everybody's. I mean, we can pass it around. You can read it. But we're gonna go on. I'm gonna just literally cut everyone off stack. Ridiculous. Um, That's what I was gonna say. Just move on. So. Can I just? Okay, like I said before. Well, there's several of us that were that are in or out of the community meeting, um, or whatever. Uh, well, there's some that are named on this document which you may not have seen. Okay. That are here. Should we do a temperature check on to go on to the Should next? Should we maybe topic? close out as? Close out the stack. I'd like to hop on the stack, and then maybe we could close this out because I want to talk about anything else that's coming up this week. You know, and we forgot to mention the Welfare Rights Committee phone in for the the budget targets, which is the other thing. So I just I would like to maybe we can close out the stack and then move on just to cover anything else coming up in the next week. Can we do that? Is that okay? Temperature check and then come back to the meeting. Well, we're done with these discussion items of Occupy do a temperature check? Do people want to yeah. committees? I say no. No? Yeah. I, I think I see everyone okay. kind of saying no, so... All right. Well, let's just take okay. a final stack on the media topic and then we'll close it out. All right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. People have, like, 10 seconds. And I'm going to cut you off right at 10 seconds. That's what I need. We're going to start around the table, which... We're going to go with Lion and then Jan, Mike. Yes. We're going to start with Lion and go around. Okay. This thing here proposes that at 5.30 on, what is it? I give mine away. The 29th? 26th. 29th. 29th. Thank you all. That we start at 5.30 discussing this Occupy with the media thing again. And I think it might be a good thing that we vote on it so we can vote it down. Well, I would hope people would vote it down. That would be the way I would vote. But I think if you vote it down, it's the way of getting rid of it. It's all I got. OK, CJ. Yeah, um, if if uh, the media committee is doing a good job, I'd say it's going back in again. But I think we should have a media committee and a finance committee that are accountable to uh, the larger, the larger uh, group. Uh, I, I've never seen the document before, but if it says it's on the same time as this meeting, I would agree that should be changed. But that'd be easy to do. I think the Occupy Homes would be done. put that big document out. I haven't seen it before, but we'll Done. Done. Thank you. Done. Chuck. Okay. So, Jan. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just sense a lot of hostility here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, no, really. I mean, it just feels like there's an awful lot of hard, there's, there's no trust here. No. Among Occupy Homes or among Occupy Minneapolis for Occupy Homes, so there's I don't know what can be done about that. I think it's it's a lost cause, and and it feels like Occupy Homes continues to come back and ask for what they want, and it's not going to happen. And that's just my uh, uh, opinion of it. And, and also as as uh, as far as the media, I don't like censorship, and I don't feel that it's, that that was appropriate to be done by Occupy Homes. 
I put forward a proposal that we that we vote, all vote no and then move on dot org. Okay. Um, <laughs> I said that on purpose. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, but I'm a Libra. You know, I see both sides. I think that we should let them have the listserv or whatever the word is. Why do we hold on to the names of the people to get the emails? The part of me is a Twitter and the this and the that. Why? I can answer that. Um, All right, was that it? Yeah, I okay. just don't know why we don't share and sure. we're done. Well, that's a good question that you mentioned, listservs, because it's not as if the people on the media committee side of this actually control all of the digital assets in question. As a matter of fact, one of the ongoing complaints that we had that was a breaking point was that there is an original Google group list serve, which Nick Espinosa has been the sole administrator of. And he's never, he never acknowledged like any request to revisit that issue and get more administrators on the list serve. And so there was, this is a Google group list. And so the the, the dispute and the lack of acknowledgement over that list was one of the things that prompted us to say that we couldn't share an editorial process on one Facebook page and one Twitter account because they were holding the Google group. And so, yeah, and sorry, like, I, you know, I'm named on this, so I should say a couple other things. So, um, insofar as, okay, well, the, the Facebook and the Twitter page, those were both registered by Tony Boycourt, who lives way in outstate Minnesota. Okay, all right. Let me let me just I'll I'll tie it up. You know, like and so so basically in in a legal sense, the way that social media accounts work, the person that originally registers an account is the legal oh, owner, and so this this document, among other people, do not really recognize the fact that Tony is the registrant of that of these two social media accounts, and there were other ones. There were Occupy Minneapolis accounts. There were other accounts that didn't work out. All right, Chuck. I'm. CJ, I'm sorry, like, you raised a lot of things. And also, I would also say that, that I, this is inaccurate in the sense that uh, it says I'm an administrator with the power to revoke access. I am not. Tony is the only person that can put or add or, add or subtract people from this Facebook page. He lives in Forest Lake. He uh, has a kid almost well, about on the way, him and his partner. Um, so he can't afford to travel. Now, CJ, like, I'm, I'm sorry, just let me finish. You did attack me for ranting in the new edition of this. Um, I'd also say, in terms of the uh, idea of having elected people in the media operations, you specifically asked me at the end of the last meeting if I would talk to people about doing media work with you. I did ask everyone who's been involved in the Facebook and Twitter if they wanted to work with you. No one answered in the affirmative that they wanted to work with you. And I would conjecture that's because you haven't uh, made a concrete effort to build interpersonal trust with people. Likewise, you know, like Nick Espinoza has jettisoned a lot of. It's, it's Chuck. He's CJ. He's answering a question. Yeah, and, and I'm trying to address okay. your specific concerns too, CJ. Like, I'm trying to get right to him, you know? Like, so the point is that also that Nick Espinoza also jettisoned a lot of trust because he, he made promises about things. He definitely said things that he didn't, you know, follow through on and has had definitely at different points. Like today, I did have a long discussion with him about these issues and I pointed out that, you know, part of the problem here is that in the last few days, you've again started trying to order around Liz and tell her what to do. And when Liz says, you need to acknowledge the really wrongful things you did to me, including abusing the Google group access, see, Nick effectively kicked Liz out of Occupy Homes by taking her off the listserv when she was trying to uh, oppose the locking out of the, the national convening. Like, Nick kicked her out, and he won't admit that in writing. And, like, that's been one of the reasons why Liz, personally, if I can just speak on this one point, that on her behalf, is that she doesn't want to meet with Nick personally because he will not acknowledge in person that he did that, and Occupy Homes as an organization has not recognized its complicity in reproducing hierarchies of oppression through things like kicking Liz off the, Liz off the listserv. Now, those are very serious, and the fact that in the last few days, Nick, you know, felt the need to try to cut a move, clearly this has been coming down the pike for a few days. Um, it, it, it was made worse by the fact that he was trying to order Liz around, and that caused us to have an internal discussion to say, well, now we are increasingly uncomfortable with posting Occupy Homes content material in one Facebook account and one Twitter account because Nick is still trying to control Liz. And, and without acknowledging or really apologizing to her directly or making some move to get Occupy Homes to recognize 
these bad things that happened to her. And so that's what's happened in the last few days. I asked Nick to just try to be nice, to try to be humble, to try to recognize, make amends with people one-on-one -on -one that he's done this kind of stuff to. Like, he seemed receptive to that, but he didn't exactly acknowledge it here. He just, you know, took off, dropped this, and bounced. So, um, but I think at this point, the, the standpoint of the people that are on these social media accounts is that as individuals, if they want to post Occupy Homes material, they can do that. They can do that as individuals, but it is also understood among the group of people there's a lot of discomfort with that because people have been seriously wronged and and Liz is still censored from commenting on the Facebook wall so she was attacked in the statement the inaccurate statement that was put out early on and she's still censored off of there and so like she still can't respond on there so there's still like this active censorship thing and a lack of acknowledgement and I think that that got escalated over the last few days and so um, th that's how the lay of the land as I see it um, I just want to kind of lay that out, you know, and, and I think that uh, in terms of just, you know, like I like just trying to be like nice to people and like trying to build up interpersonal trust one on one, I think is like the way that progress can happen here. But at the same time, like Occupy Homes, both individuals within it and its organizational totality and the fact that like people that got arrested for them earlier, some of them who are in this room aren't recognized as members under the, the specified rules like people yep. I know people that got that got arrested that are like here right now and they wouldn't be recognized as members and I, and that among other things is, is like a huge problem um, anyway thank you for letting me have that time uh, appreciate it thank you, thank you, yeah so um, Ted, thank you for sharing that I really appreciate a lot of those concerns you raised and um, I think I mean I want I want as to, I mean, I think you named a lot of real issues, and I think that there needs to be a conversation around them, and I think that we need to have, have a mediation around it. And I know that Liz is uncomfortable around being with Nick. I think that um, there is room, I, I understand that there are still a lot of issues with the way Occupy Homes is, is handling some things, and I think that um, there's room for negotiation on both sides, and that we can actually make progress on that. Um, if we would just sit down and mediate, I agree, Doug, with what you said earlier, that this would be better handled, handled offline um, in, a, in, a, in a separate meeting. Um, and I mean, I, and I also, I don't remember who said earlier that Occupy Homes has been taking over these meetings the last few weeks. Um, we're not trying to take over, we want to have a mediation, we're here tonight because um, our, our requests for mediation haven't been responded to. Um, and let me see, um, Toby, I wanted to respond to what you said about the dissolution of the media committee. I didn't, I didn't write this, I didn't, um, but I, I don't think that means everybody on the media committee should be kicked off. I think it just means that people um, should be democratically elected and if people want to affirm the people who are existing on the media committee, that should happen. Um, it says right here. Uh, I don't, I'm, I'm speaking for myself. I don't yeah, know what yeah, the author's yeah, intended. Yeah, but yeah. It, it does say to be dissolved and replaced. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, that, that seems pretty clear to me. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, that's something that could be talked so about later. Information. Yeah. None of us have okay, hold on. We're on set here. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be, like, Nazi here, but, like, we need to be on for the next conversation. So, um, you're going no, around no, the room. Okay, you're going around the room. Yeah. Polly. Okay. Um, I've been frustrated trying to get, when you say mediation, people think you mean sharing that creative content position again, and people don't want to do that. But there is a way to meet and discuss, and what I've been just stressing and straining and emailing about is trying to get a meeting to discuss how to make it workable so that Occupy Homes can get stuff on the website if they want to in some way that's acceptable to both parties. And I thought you two had started to discuss it after that first big meeting, and I had great hopes that you two would work that out um, in some way. But there keeps being this push, you know, from other people to do more dominant kind of thing, to take over the creative status to get that full editorial access back. And isn't there a way to make this work? I mean, I'm ready to submit Occupy Home stuff to Dan to get it posted. You, how come you guys aren't doing that? to make it work right now as it is. So we just submit stuff, get it posted, <coughs> and, um, let it go, you know, see if that works. Then it suggested that way, way, way early on. Yeah, um, can I direct this one over you really quickly, please? Okay, yeah, um, we, we've been doing that sometimes, and it's yeah. been working okay. Sometimes there's a delay. Yesterday, I think there was something submitted that wasn't posted. Okay, 
Okay, because it wasn't posted because of this other this, thing? Yeah, it prompted that discussion, yeah. But I also heard you were quite willing to look at the censorship along with. Yeah, yeah but, but, but I haven't been able to say it was. Right, <laughs> yeah. right. That's what, okay, I'm, I just want to say I'm very frustrated at, at the lack of a meeting, because unless we meet, unless we make this out, it's going to keep simmering. And the emotions are also huge. I do think we need a bigger process of screening on some of the emotions, but a lot of it would help if you all could could deal with this. You know, you threw the rock in the water and <coughs> it's having all these repercussions, and it seems to me there are simple negotiating things, that temporary solution we talk about, we get that to work, you know, and instead of making that work, now we've got this, and it's just, it's not happening. Okay. Do you want to respond to that, or no? I've got five things that I'm going to be brief. Number one, what you shared tonight with what's happened to Liz to me is oppression, and that's part of why I'm not part of Occupy Homes, and I experienced it as a woman, and it's not been addressed. And if this group condones that behavior, that is really scary. And you want to talk about negative media? I will be very loud in the media about what Occupy Homes has done if it keeps pushing. Second, my questions were not answered by either CJ or Becky, who are here. I understand on behalf of Occupy Homes. That if you're putting, you want this GA and you want this media stuff, then you're putting the Occupy Homes finances into the table too, and you're putting Occupy Homes management into the table too, because I feel like it's a one-sided thing and that's not fair. You both tactfully ignored my request multiple times. Third, um, no. third, you've had many opportunities to answer and have chosen not to. Third, I really am really concerned that when I came here to town, this is Occupy. And I have been here and I'm watching meeting after meeting being controlled by Occupy Homes. And I'm sitting here going, there are many big issues that Occupy cares about and I, the disrespect by Occupy Homes that your issue and your too little access to a Twitter and Facebook account and your censorship, that that's more important than all these other environmental and oppressive issues is scary. In all is, our time. In our time. Okay. The disrespect. Okay, okay, let's stick the, the next thing is that I heard, I don't know if it's true, that Occupy Homes had stopped submitting stuff to Occupy Minnesota to submit because you were trying to force a mediation to happen. I don't know if that's true or not. I have heard that. Um, finally, this GA media stuff and finance, if you want it, then Occupy Homes can do it. But I am really frustrated that, that you want to take the Occupy language when it's convenient for you and not for your behavior <coughs> what you do. And that just is wrong. Could you put that uh, basically, I don't think anyone has the right to say that the actual proprietary, like you were talking about, the, the content is owned by somebody, and nobody here has the right to take that away from them. That's it. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm going to call for a temperature check on whether or not we're in favor of having this. Uh, thing, uh, 5.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. on Wednesday the 29th to dissolve the Occupy and the Amethyst Media Committee. Can we make a temperature check on whether or not time to vote? Can we have a temperature check on having a temperature check? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's Occupy style. Yeah. <laughs> call or something and move on to the next thing? Uh, everyone just said no. no. We don't make decisions here. That's the thing. Like, I don't but a temperature check isn't temperature a decision, though. No. So a temperature check is different. Yeah. Okay, so can we... Uh, I just want to say I don't see what's wrong with Occupy Homes having their own Facebook page and their own Twitter. They do now, but they're acting like children. it's useless and they need Occupy Amends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got it on the table. If everyone has a chance to say something, it's done. Um, so. We have a temperature check on. Temperature check. check. On on temperature check. Yes. <laughs> yes. When I first spoke, I requested a temperature check or a vote, whatever, mm -hmm. it was being resolved at May the 29th, 530. Mm-hmm. You know, so how about we have say? A straight up temperature check on yeah, it directly? Yeah. Okay. Yes. This feels like dictatorship to me. Yeah. <laughs> What's the temperature check? This does check not feel on? democratic. It feels like we're going to be on, 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 on whether, okay, let's, if I could say, the temperature check should be on whether oneself as an individual 
supports this idea here. Okay, can we do that? Let's have a temperature check now. Okay. Put your fingers down. If, if, you, if you support the idea here as an individual, down if you don't. Okay. I can't Get it. The time. Okay. So, okay. question right. is though, is it listed on location on that piece of paper? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Our meeting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's actually two meetings on the um, is a, a One voice, please. Um, um, one um. Is, is Wednesday, May 29th, 5.30 here. Um, and that's for the, that's for the um, mm. dissolve and replace. But before that, on, on Sunday, May 26th at 12 p.m., I'm guessing you, at 3.30 Thirty-three twenty-five Second Avenue South. And it doesn't say what city. I'm guessing Minneapolis. Um, that there's going to be a media committee meeting for this new media media committee that hasn't been formed yet. All right. So can we have just the temperature check? Is whether or not we individuals support what's on this? Can we do? Sure. Go. It was said earlier, by the way, that uh, there's been multiple attempts to mediate, and that we haven't. That's a flat-out lie. Because Ricardo, Mer uh, Ricardo uh, Morales was here four weeks ago okay. and had a mediation meeting. And we had a mediation. And none of the questions that we've talked about right now or continue to ask were ever addressed. Okay. So that's not true. There was a mediation attempt. All right. I think we went around the table. I say, fuck the rest of that. Uh, let's move on. Thank you. That's what I was trying to say. Yay. Yay. All right. Okay. Okay. In a manner of speaking, <laughs> like, huh? time to move on. Donald. Could I just mention the the, the budget target thing? Like, we, yeah, we'll get back. We'll bring this back around to announcements. Okay, so I just wanted to mention that like the Welfare Rights Committee has been working to, uh, along with other people to kind of get something pushing against the, the slash in housing and human services. And like basically, the Democrats want to keep pushing the austerity budget and set really low HHS targets. If anybody has time to go lurk down at the state capitol and go into conference committee meetings, those are listed. You can go to the Senate Information Office to get conference committee info. What they're trying to do is you know, benefit the austerity budget, corporate America, by slashing like MFIP and other direct like transfer aid programs, while at the same time not hiking income taxes on rich people, which is what they said they were going to do. Yeah. And so, so I just wanted to like put in the mention for that that like that's the kind of thing that we should focus on. Whether or not like transfer payments are the greatest thing in the history of the world is like a separate discussion. But in the meantime, the austerity budget stuff happens right now. Also, there's info. It's been posted online. I can pull it up here. Like the contact numbers you can call if you want to like contact legislators about this. This is actually really important. That's sort of what the Democrats like to do. They give like one nice thing. Gay marriage is great. Like that's a long time coming. But they want to give you one nice thing and then screw you with the other hand. Like that's like the rope a dope tactic, right? So so I just wanted to like point that out. Like the rope a dope is like do something cool and then screw people over in the budget. Like I just wanted to sorry. Question Is there a time and place of some other event happening besides the call then? Uh well Kim's been posting it around. Right. So, so no, there's not like a specific time. event. Well, moment, but there's not, an event. not a rally time. Um, not like a rally that I know of. Okay. But um, yeah, so I can pro I can provide if I I can give you the info that Kim like and I I found that and I posted that on <laughs> on the Facebook page earlier today because I think that's really really important. So, uh, I'll send it to OSHA. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. Thank you. So, any more questions? Okay, what is this? Uh, go ahead. Just to add, the information from the Welfare Rights Committee is there's four representatives and four senators who make up this committee to negotiate the budget. Their phone numbers and their email addresses are on the uh, Facebook? No? Yeah. Um, what I did was I wrote one letter to and sent it to all eight of them that just said, you know, we want to we want to make it tolerable for the seventy thousand people that rely on MFIP. You made it beautiful for the happy horseshit people that sit in the sixty-five thousand seat stadium. And mm -hmm. I just think your priorities are upside down. <laughs> All right. All right. So this meet. Yeah.
I just took it back to announcements because it's important. So. Hmm? I think we're off of that now. We closed the stack and everything. We're planning your birthday surprise party now. <laughs> oh yeah, in the winter time in November. <laughs> So the only resolution we have now on the media thing is that Nick should try to be nice to Liz. So she, I mean, what is that? That was what I suggested. Now, where's the energy going to come for a resolution or I mean, a, a compromise if, of if, if Nick and Occupy Homes as an organization yeah. can, you know, make amends to individuals, I, I think that individually, I think that would help. Is there a and I, they've, always, they've always, and, and, and the, the fact is that, like, Part of the reason why people haven't made the effort to like drive in gas just shot over 420 now by the way so yeah. we have people that are sprinkled across like 150 miles so it's like in yeah. quite expensive just to even get to the cities but um that's why it's been so important to just have like candor in the written record and have people just answer questions on emails and stuff and like that like, as a point of leverage, Nick told me today, he's like, well, I didn't want to give, you know, direct answers to things because we need leverage to have a meeting and withholding answers is like his way to get at that more or less. And like that's and so that we have to like so what I've said is that the process should try to work like asynchronously, like we pose the questions to resolve it as we can over time. And then when Nick stonewalls on answering anything and Questions have been taken to Occupy Homes. To Toby had a whole bunch of questions put to Occupy Homes that I don't think were answered directly. Um, most of them were answered. I okay. follow up on some stuff. Okay, well, that's good. But the point is that Nick has made a point of withholding, giving candid answers or acknowledgement of things that he's done and stuff like that with the idea that somehow it will be better to do that in person. When in reality, like, with Nick in particular, we expect a more of the same kind of behavior just verbally. And also, too, like, a lot of it is that we don't want to enhance Nick's personal power any further, and he always wants to be the interlocutor with people, and then, and basically be like the go-between, so he can keep Occupy Homes people under control. And so we don't want to like give Nick any more power to control people in Occupy Homes because he wants to insert himself as like the main interlocutor all the time. And in the session with Ricardo, he said he was going to withdraw himself from the process and then immediately jump in. Is there any chance for the Discussions to go forward, irrespective of Nick, not without Nick, not there. I think people were open to the idea of answering emails. Yeah, oh, okay. you know. So do like, it, but is it happening on emails? That's what it I'm has saying. been. Yeah, like Liz put a bunch of stuff to Nick, and he wouldn't <laughs> address it grammatically and stuff like no. that. So, so there's been a lot of that. Have you two ever communicated an email about how to make this stuff work? What's about the, stuff? Yeah, I don't. I think I've responded to everything you sent me. I think so. Yeah, I mean, I have some. Um, I have some ideas for how we can respond to some of the things that um, we both brought up, but I think it would probably be better if we just checked it offline after the meeting. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Are you done? I just want to say I'm, I'm putting a lot of faith in this kind of informal discussion mm -hmm. because, you know, there was an understanding that, uh, you know, some other meetings or processes would be happening, and I'm not having any luck yet, and it don't happen. So somebody's mm -hmm. got to have some motion, you know. Mm -hmm. You can't just sit down and hold your, your purse to your chest and not talk. You've got to do something. I, I, Karen, I guess, do we have anything else we wanted to talk about that could come up before the next week, guys? I would throw this out that if Occupy Homes really did want to work through issues, they would withdraw this unilateral proposal that they dumped on Occupy Minnesota this evening if they mm -hmm. were negotiating and mediating in good faith. I would say, yeah, that if there's going to be a mediation happening, there would be no need for this. <coughs> and I think was brought forward because there was no mediation. And I guess I need to see that in writing. And it's not that I don't trust you personally, Becky, but I don't trust the leadership of the and, organization. And there's... Yeah. So I would need to see in writing that what they proposed tonight, that we're throwing... It's just a discussion on mediation. Exactly. Oh, Thank you. Yeah. Sorry. So I would need Language. to, you know, I would need to, you know, I... I, I because I hear what you're saying that you want mediation, but the reality is this is so non-mediation. Like this is pretty unilateral dictatorship. And if I write about it to Occupy Wall Street, that is what I will be saying. And I hate to be saying that, but I will be um, if it remains on the table because it is this is not the Occupy Life. Well, I can't speak for Occupy Homes, not the people just leadership. I can say I agree with that. If, 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 uh, people, if people mediate, that's 
a lot of kind of homeless you ever asked for as far as the time helps so mediate, great, let's do it. And I, I would recommend that we drop the proposal, especially on that day. I think it would need to be withdrawn sooner than that day. Yeah. Well, it's, Becky, we're not going to pass it yet. We're not going to pass it. Nathan. Yeah, uh, quick, quick comment. You know, what I think, you know, the Occupy Minnesota Facebook page could just say, hey, if you want to be, you know, if you want to join the Occupy Homes Facebook page, do so. Mm -hmm. You know, every, what, however many people that are, are on our page could voluntarily join the Occupy Homes Facebook page. You know, it's up to them. It's not like anybody's stopping people from joining the Occupy Homes mm -hmm. Facebook page. I think this is a waste of time. I think the answer is no from this group. No, no to this resolution. I mean, I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't say that, but uh, it seems to be the, you know, the answer is no. Right? Okay, do we want to that to occupy the person who it should either be at a time that conflicts with their meeting time or a time that conflicts with anybody's meeting time. I've heard from a lot of folks saying, well, our meeting is Wednesday night at 6, and you spent no end of meetings on this stuff. We don't want to do it anymore. Yeah, that's right. We're not. Mm -hmm. We're not done. We are done. How about if they want to propose something, they actually, someone that did write it, other than Becky, just leaving her here like that, yeah, actually propose bad. it themselves and stay? Yeah. That's still going to take a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Moveon.org. <laughs> time to move on. Yeah. As I stated, like, pretty obvious in the last time that I made, it's like, I don't think there's any problem with just making a committee for the Occupy Home people and meeting somewhere else to take all the bad blood, you know, <laughs> to another position. They already have. Just that's question. Kind of that's kind of like babysitting for us. <laughs> you know, that's, that's kind of how what I get out of that is where it's like someone has to take their time out of their day to actually have something to babysit them. You know what I mean? It's up to them personally to come to us. You know, they do, but then they leave. Yeah. They know when the meeting starts. They know where it's at. They're only here 15 minutes. I didn't say that. <laughs> That's all that we said. Anyway. Mike. In that very same note, and that's in vain. Tar sands pipelines. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tar sands. Tar sands. <laughs> <laughs> now, I just want to throw it out to you guys because this is kind of where I'm at. All right. Um, in the power line struggle we had here in Minnesota during during the 1980s, the people that were involved in in the in the power line struggle did not go to their elected officials and beg and plead and whine and hold pretty rallies begging their corporate select officials to do what's right. All right? What it, how it happened, happened with the Charter Science Pipelines is that there are unknown people that we don't know who they are, where they are, what they are, or why they are, in the dead of night, went and fucking, with their trucks, these farmers, in, in, in northern Minnesota, took their fucking trucks and pulled the fucking power lines over. Oh, yeah. And when the people that, and when the people that put them, put them there, put them back up, in the middle of the night, they took the trucks right back out again, and they pull them right back down again. What I'm saying is, fuck this bullshit of asking elected officials to do what's right. They're not going to. We need to start having a bigger, broader discussion on how to react to the fact that they've all betrayed us, and how we as a movement, this is what this is about, this is about a movement, not begging politicians to do what's right, but a movement to start moving and acting forward. Enough. Is anyone else on stack? I think we'll kind of wind out the time with a little sort of free form discussion. That's that's well taken though. The power is there more info people could find about the power line resistance era? Oh yeah. Well, yeah. I just wanted to mention that um, what he's saying, you know, from your guys' end. Um, I'm I'm a DFLer. I know. Don't fool me. <laughs> I'm a good DFLer. I actually I actually fight with them. <laughs> but um, democratic. We've gone to like some certain caucuses. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a big, huge um, uh, community uh, gardener, and so we're always caring about the environment. We've been to like several different meetings with um, all sorts of different sponsorships. Now, the good news is what I'm hearing on the beat with like the DFLs and with almost everybody in the Senate and the Congress is that they're all starting to listen now. They're all like going, hmm? 
you know, it's like the terms are coming and all that kind of stuff. So I think the, the demonstrations that you guys have been doing so far, like the uh, sand trucks and all the other stuff that's been going on that I've been hearing in the media, that is actually working. That's actually having some power. So keep doing that. Like he said, pull down the towers. Because <laughs> it's like that's getting the most, point, you know, Point of information, and I hear exactly what you're saying. Yeah. And I will most lovingly and respectfully say to you, yeah. um, can we talk about Governor Dayton's Public Utility Commission's hearings? Sure, Which is that. a fucking fraud. I it's work. a fraud. <laughs> no, 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 no. Governor Dayton is helping push through the goddamn tar science pipelines because his boss, <laughs> President Barack Obama. <Oli> Bomber. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I'm not allowed to speak on Occupy right. Homes meetings, by the way. No, all right, all right. No, right. No, my, well my, taken, though. My, my point being is that the elected officials are screwing us right down right down the alleyway. And Governor Dayton is a part of that. Okay, okay. Wait, we, got, we have Toby and then, and, 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 and sorry, you, you're next. Mary, okay, so, so Toby first, please. I, I, I love your passion. I love your passion about, you know, you know, direct action and everything. Uh, but, you know, I, I'm of the philosophy of, you know, taking all the options. Oh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to be talking to our congressmen and, 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 and protesting and direct action and, and stuff. I, that's what I, I appreciate about Occupy Homes, that they've done some some crazy good shit. You know, uh, uh, you know, I don't agree with everything, every every way you do, <coughs> but, but I love the, the tenacity in the, in the, in the stuff. Anyway, uh, but uh, yeah, it's yeah. I, I don't want to want us to turn into this. this all right, we're going to ignore the. Government. We need to we need to attack all the things. Bingo. <laughs> Um, I just want to say this outside part has a good article about the people that took a trip yeah. regarding oh, this and also a good article about the new union guy that's heading up the DFL in Minneapolis. Jan McConnell. Oh, well, so, piece of shit. good article this week. <laughs> that's a good one. And then a Columbus edition. He is. He's a piece Thank of shit. Full disclosure, I used to actually help Mark Dayton with it when he was running for assembly. And I've known Mark Dayton for a long time. He's up against a lot of other issues at, at the Capitol. And so I give him a little break so every once in a while. Well, yeah, everybody does. I, mean, I think Polly. My, my end up very involved. Oh, in oh, hold on. He seems spaced well, out. Hold on a second. My end up very involved in the power line movement. And I think there were four, 14 towers toppled. And they had wonderful t shirts. Night Raiders live longer. <laughs> <laughs> Stop bulldozers by putting uh, cow shit all over their bodies. You know, they jump suits on so the cops couldn't arrest them, or they got pretty stinky, and they did. Nice. So, and there was a, a huge reward for anybody who would turn in one of the Night Raiders, and nobody ever did. Nobody ever did. Wow. Yeah. That's solidarity. Yeah, for that's some shit. Yeah, real Great. Okay. Yes. Uh, this is completely off topic. But um, on the 25th, same day as March against Monsanto, uh, as many of you know, I'm going to Croatia on June 3rd. So at this building, from like 1 to 9, I'm having like a big going away kind of thing. Oh, you guys are all invited. Cool. If you're going to the march against Monsanto, come by afterwards. And, you know, it's just kind of a fun thing. Can open we beat you up? Open door on the stage, so. Not the walls. Yeah, yeah, I mean, for you know, foods and games. Can we glitter him? Classy. Oh, we have to glitter him. Yes. Well, we have to, he has oh, to be oh, glittered. Way to let it out. Oh, you're not. Well, I mean, I'll come back to visit. Oh, okay. Well, that's where you're going to live. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh, just kidding. Where are you going? Croatia. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the 25th. Uh, this building is one of the best places to go. That's quite an adventure. That's pretty cool. I think we have Gabe next. No. You're good? Hi. All right. Hi. Anybody else? Else? Anyone else? Should we make this adjourned? All right. Yeah, I'll just so we have yeah, a motion okay, to clean up crew. Okay, line. Yeah, we need clean up crew. But let's do line and then clean up crew. Becky, I feel really bad that all the occupying homes people left you carrying the bag. She's can handle it. Yeah. <laughs> and I just feel bad for you. <laughs> I hope you don't Sorry. take it as like an attack on you at all. Yeah. Oh God, no! Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. I tried to back you up. All right. Anything the else to run out the door? That's another story. <laughs> <laughs> and anything else to uh, cover before we do clean up crew? Hey, don't talk about COVID. Making sure that we get clean up crew. <laughs> Slithery. <laughs> Snake slither, bro. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>
All right. I'll be here let's, all night. Let's raise, <laughs> let's raise our hands if we're going to help with cleanup crew tonight. Lion, Cobra, anybody else can help clean up would be great. We can leave the tables here. We just got to make sure the floor is clean and the kitchen is good and stuff over there. I'll take care of the tables. Thank you all for coming, everybody. Okay. Flip your, flip your chairs, everyone, on top of the table, please, before you leave so we can sweep. Yeah, that's true. All right. And, and that is the end of the meeting for quote, May 15th. Put it on the table over there.